This method is going to make you climb through the ranks quicker than a blonde intern with a double D chest and a double zero waist. This is the fastest way to rank up in Warzone. What's up guys, it's Average Old, making average content for the average viewer. And recently, I uploaded a video on the fastest way to level up in Warzone. And compared to the majority of the videos on my channel, that one performed exceptionally well. So like any other self-respecting YouTuber, I have decided to ride the momentum of that video and keep beating this dead horse until it stops spitting out views. With that being said, let's see if we can hit 30 likes on today's video and if you're new here and you like borderline offensive poorly constructed jokes and Warzone tips and tricks, then it would be awesome if you'd subscribe. So let's talk about it. Before we go too far, I just want to legitimise my claims by giving you the figures. So, this game lasted 21 minutes and netted me 43,044 XP, so that's about 123,000 XP per gameplay hour. And if that doesn't sell it to you, that is an average of about 3 levels per gameplay hour, all of which without using any sort of Warzone XP glitch. I know my last video claimed to be the quickest way to level up in Warzone, but I will hold my hands up and say that this is by far the absolute fastest way, and will get you to rank 155 in the shortest amount of time possible. Not only that, I did this whole method while solo queuing, so for all of you out there who don't want to have to deal with finding someone to play with and then having to put up with an extremely obnoxious buzz on their microphone because they refuse to buy a new battery pack, or hear them screaming down the mic claiming that they shot first and still died even though they probably actually definitely didn't, then this method is for you. Right, so the main difference here between this method and my original method is that I did this all within Plunder. Now, I'll be the first to say that Plunder just isn't as fun as Battle Royale. I know that some of you guys might prefer Plunder, but I'm betting that the vast majority of you are going to much more enjoy playing Battle Royale. With that being said, if you want to know the absolute fastest way to level up in Warzone, I'm afraid to say that Plunder will yield you the best results. There are a few reasons for this. The first being that because Plunder is a respawn mode, you will naturally be in the game until the end, no matter your ability, as opposed to BR, where if you're having a bad day and shooting like Stevie Wonder, then your matches could end within the first five minutes of the game starting. Now I will say that if you're a top tier player that's getting 20 plus kill wins every time you play, then you're probably going to earn more XP that way. But if that's the case, why are you watching this video? Anyway, the other reason that plunder is going to be easier is that because you are in the game longer and you can respawn, the chances are that you're going to be able to get a hell of a lot more kills on average than you would in a BR game. Now obviously I'm not just going to tell you that the whole method relies on you playing plunder and getting kills. That wouldn't be a great guide or strategy, would it? No. Instead, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide of how you can get an absolute fuck ton of XP. So it's going to come as no surprise that the first thing that you're going to want to do is drop somewhere that is going to have low enemy count but a high contract count. Contracts in Plunder do work a bit differently to how they work in Battle Royale, as you don't get a percentage bonus, however, they are still going to net you a hell of a lot of experience, but most importantly, they're going to net you a lot of juicy, juicy cash. So I'd suggest, if you want to do this the quickest and most efficiently, then you're going to want to focus on scavenger and recon contracts. I would probably rate these about the same, as they will likely take you just as long as each other, but in like Battle Royale, there is no gas or circles, so finding the ring locations from the recons or the gas masks from the scavengers aren't going to matter, so I would just go for the closest contracts to you. Now next, you're going to want to find some sort of vehicle. Now, one of the trucks or the Land Rovers are going to serve you better as the quads and buggies offer you about as much protection as burning 5G towers will protect you from super contagious respiratory diseases. This will help you traverse the map and get from contract to contract a lot quicker. Now I will say that getting kills in Plunder is going to net you some experience, however collecting cash is going to outweigh this 5 to 1, so as tempting as it is to get a lot of kills, you're going to be much better off staying clear of other players where possible and just constantly concentrating on the contracts. Now basically, you're going to want to just keep grinding these contracts out as quickly as possible and piling up that cash. Look, I'm not going to lie to you here, you will get the best results if you can actually win this game. Now I know that that might seem a lot harder, but in my experience, most players are going to be focused on actually getting kills and fighting, rather than just grinding for cash. So actually, winning in plunder isn't actually that hard. I personally have played 7 games in total and won 4, that's with solo queuing as well. And I'm not sure if it's something to do with the matchmaking, but it seems like 90% of the people who solo queue don't actually have thumbs. Moving on, 
As you progress further into the match, the contract density is going to become sparse. This lends itself to another opportunity. Now, be warned, if you have a weak stomach, you might want to avert your ears from what I'm about to say. So, if you're nearing the latter half of the game, you'll notice that there will be a lot more people going for the more isolated contracts around the perimeter of the map. So I'd suggest you find a contract and then pop a UAV and your heartbeat sensor. If you're lucky, you'll see some unsuspecting fools about to push the contract. This will give you the opportunity to set up an ambush and, dare I say it, camp the contract. Now, I know, I know, camping is a cardinal sin and anyone who does it is a low-life beta soy boy cuck, but hear me out. This is going to be especially useful to you as chances are that these people have been doing the same as you and creeping around for contracts. This means two things. First of all, they won't have been in much conflict, so they won't be the sharpest tools in the shed and won't be expecting a fight, so when you pop out of the bathroom and fill them with more lead than the hippies believes in the tap water, they just won't expect it, netting you a couple of easy kills. But also, because of their apparent cowardice, they probably won't have deposited any of their cash. So, you'll have a juicy, juicy fortune to loot off of them too. On top of this, after you have successfully killed them and looted their lifeless corpses, you'll still have the contract to complete as well. So everyone's a winner. Well, not everyone, just you. But that's all that matters. After this, you're going to want to carry on grabbing cash and contracts until you win the game and are rewarded with a huge bounty of XP. So there we have it, the fastest way to level up in Warzone, Revised Edition. I hope some of you found it useful. Let me know in the comments or on Twitter how you found this method and if you have any Warzone tips for the fastest way to level up. Now, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you'll know that I like to see who sticks around until the end by asking weird little questions for you to answer in the comments. So if you're still here, let me know by answering this. Would you rather have penises for fingers or scrotums instead of eyebrows so they dangle in front of your eyes. Anyway, that's it from me today. I'm Average Joel. Peace.